So here's what I'm hearing you say to me is that you basically decided to take your brother's private information that you sort of have a privilege to and sort of don't and that you're a part of his family of origin but you really haven't been a part of his life or his medical records or his medical anything for his entire life. But what you decided to do is take that private information and give it to a police officer. When you gave it to a police officer, what did they do in that hospital? They gave him a tranquilizer. They literally put him out with a sedative. And that became part of the downfall of his life. So what you basically did what put, was put your brother, your youngest sibling, your little brother, into a situation to be constantly sexually assaulted and abused by police officers and sheriff across the Midwest. And you don't want to believe what he's telling of what's happened to you, or what's happened to him rather, I apologize. You don't want to believe what's happening to him because that makes you liable. You also want to believe what's happening to him because you participated in pissing all over him by stalking him and tracking him. How is that possible? Did you do that by following his social media? Did you do that by actually putting a dog tick on him so that you could just find him at any time? Did you do that by using Google to track his phone? You tell me. How did that work? Because either way, you've literally ruined his life. You can't get out of your liability for that. You cannot get out of what you did. You took something very private of his without a thought to what sharing that information could do for him long term and gave it out. It didn't help him. How many times did he get harmed now by the situation, by your taking his information and giving it out? So many times he can't even count anymore. But you just don't want to believe that's possible or you don't care. Which is it, please?